SQL Server 2025 is now generally available. SQL Database in Fabric is now generally available. The next gen general purpose for Azure SQL Managed Instance is also generally available, and so is SSMS 22. Learn all about the Ignite announcements this week on Data Exposed. Hi, I'm Anna Hoffman, and welcome to this episode of Data Exposed. Today, I have Bob Ward joining us. Uh, Bob, thanks so much for coming on the show. Anna, what an incredible week. Microsoft Ignite, all the big announcements we make. Wow, it's been incredible. It's been an incredible week, and we are so excited, uh, and I'm so happy to have you on the show to kind of recap for everybody, because there's so much news flying around in the SQL space. So let's get right into it. In your perspective, or kind of at the SQL view, what are the big announcements that landed this week? Yeah, there's three big things I think about. First of all, SQL Server 2025 GA, yay, we finally have gone general availability. Also, the next generation of managed instance uh, went general available as well. And Anna, you know, SQL Database and Fabric went generally available. Amazing. It's been such a week. Everyone's been waiting for all three of those things. I'm sure there's a lot of excitement. Um, how How's the vibes on the ground when you're talking to people about these things, Bob? It's excitement about SQL. It, it, it's like this rejuvenation of the SQL product line, ground to cloud to fabric. And people are like, look, Microsoft SQL is a serious product out there that works wherever I need it. And all this AI technology being built in, it kind of feels innovative now, not just that great engine we have, but all this modern stuff that really does matter to today's applications and today's customers. Awesome, yeah, couldn't agree more. And it's super exciting to have this. I wanna call out that we have one blog for you to go look at if you want to get all the announcements and pointers to all the other announcements. And that's aka.ms slash one SQL. But before we get into all the details, I want to make sure we show you all the announcements. We won't talk about every single one. Um, but when it comes to SQL Server 2025, what are some of the, the big hitter moments or features and capabilities that you think folks will want to know about? Yeah, AI being built in now securely is the biggest thing we've announced, right? Finally, a vector database built in the SQL Server lighting up new RAG type patterns, AI agent type applications. But hey, JSON, huge, huge moment for developers having native JSON built into SQL Server engine. And Anna, some 40 new engine features into SQL Server 2025. So it is a power packed release. Awesome. Yeah. And we'll also be sure to link in the description to the session that you uh, now have delivered at uh, yeah. Microsoft Ignite on SQL Server 2025. So exciting. It was great. I mean, just so much excitement in the room. Uh, very, very excited to get a chance to be part of the launch as usual. It's very, very nice. Awesome. Uh, the second one is around the next gen uh, general purpose GA for SQL Managed Instance. Can you tell us like what's so exciting about that next generation release? Yeah, general purpose has been a great offer for our SQL managed instance customers. But what we're doing now is we're just making performance better out of the gate. IO performance is just way better. You get 500 databases now, 32 terabytes of storage. And most significantly, you get the ability to control things like IOPS and memory independent of cores and storage. So if you want to really tune the IO performance or the performance of your SQL app of managed instance, next gen just makes it beautiful. And that includes the ability to use ARC as a migration mechanism to get to managed instance. Awesome. Yeah, no, I know, again, like a lot of people have been waiting for this and a lot of people are excited uh, for the new capabilities. Okay, the last really big one is one I'm selfishly very excited about. Actually, there's two that come to my mind. And that is the, uh, the, the general availability announcement of both SSMS 22, as well as SQL database uh, in Fabric. So I'm really excited about those. I'd love to hear like, are you excited about these and what makes you excited about them? Bob? Well, <clears throat> SSMS, I mean, you know, we've all cut our teeth on this tool Absolutely. for a generation. And the fact that not only are we still investing SSMS, but we've innovated in so many ways. First of all, there's a GitHub Copilot now built into this. I love the fact that GitHub Copilot is now that consistent Copilot functionality, but there's so many great things just built into the tool. Uh, an improved query editor capability, query hints are built into there, a migration assistant, Windows ARM support. The SSMS team is really proving that they're on top of this and they're going to continue to make that the best in class tool for SQL Server developers, administrators, anybody using SQL. So really good stuff coming out from SSMS team. 
Awesome. And on the SQL database and fabric side, I can say the team has been working really, really hard to get across the finish line to the general availability uh, state. We've got a ton of customers who are excited already going into production and going into production with uh, more confidence now that we are generally available. We've been releasing enterprise features uh, left and right, as well as you know, bringing more capabilities for you to get the best experience from SQL database in fabric. And maybe that's a good segue, Bob, because really across one SQL, wow. all of the things that we have. <laughs> That's a lot. Uh, yeah, a lot, yeah. a lot of things. And some of them you mentioned, but I'm curious if there's any, uh, of course, they're all really awesome and exciting, but are there any that stand out to you or any you want to touch on? Well, there's a lot of great stuff in here, but I think the one thing you should see in the top of these three, ground to cloud to fabric, is the consistency. You know, things like vector indexing being across the board, our AI capabilities being built in, using T-SQL securely. So now, Develop once, deploy anywhere. But change event streaming, JSON support, all these things that go into the engine, this prove that we've got this great consistent story across all of this. So, and then just little details, things like immutable backups are now, uh, backup retentions are there for Azure SQL. People have asked that for a really long period of time. Uh, and then, you know, just other great things that are uh, in the release that show, you know, we're not just serious about making SQL Server this best engine, but a consistent great platform for AI and modern developers across every way you can deploy SQL. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think one, one on the AI front that, you know, we haven't talked a lot about previously, but I'd love to talk a little bit about no. here is the data API builder SQL MCP server. Of course, sure. there's a lot going on in the news in the world about MCP servers. Can you tell us a little bit more about what opportunities this opens up? Sure. You know, MCP is just trying to standardize a way for servers to publish tools to use with AI models. <clears throat> and it's a great protocol and it's really popular out there. So what we decided to do was Data API Builder is this great way to just build new applications. Why not infuse MCP into that? So now as a developer, you can set up Data API Builder for your application. It's now gonna be hosting an MCP server. Now AI apps have an easy way just to use DAB and have those great tools exposed to use AI models in a very dynamic, rich way. I think you're going to find that now developers are going to easily be able to infuse SQL to generate all the right types of chat applications, intelligent agents, rag patterns, and do it in just simple, structured, uh, consistent way following MCP protocol. So it's pretty exciting stuff. Definitely. Absolutely. Thanks for sharing that. And I, I think it's a good segue, Bob, because we also announced uh, something else and we're moving you know, at the speed of AI or whatever you want to call it. And so... What are we doing as a SQL organization to help people continue to keep up and learn and prove that they know how to use SQL and AI together? Well, a lot of people have asked us over the years, can you update your certification programs? Because, you know, SQL used to be a great way for people to get certified on our technologies. So we announced this past week a new SQL AI certification that's coming next spring. QR code here is wait for you to get more information. I am so excited about this. Imagine you being able to get certified and using all the great AI technology we just talked about, using SQL as that base. So now for customers and developers and SQL professionals that want to get up to speed and up their skills and stay up to date, they can use a Microsoft certified approach to do it. So it couldn't be more exciting. Great buzz about this as we announced it this week at Ignite. I love it. It's super exciting to see that land. And I know uh, it's not the only announcement we've landed uh, in the recent weeks. I think one that I'm really excited about is actually one that I'm going to pull up here. It's called SQL Con. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, crazy, isn't it? so it's crazy. It's so exciting. We're finally having a Microsoft run organized SQL community conference. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about it? And are you going to be there? <laughs> well, first of all, Notice it says Atlanta. So I know you're going to be there because you live in Atlanta. Absolutely. So if you didn't know, Anna Hoffman, she'll be there. Yeah, you know, Anna, you and I both are part of Fabcon. We've done it for a few times now. And what we observed was is SQL is super popular at that event. We would do sessions on SQL, sometimes not even related to Fabric, and have a packed audience. So based on that feedback, we said, why not bring these together and have two events co-located, but two for the price of one? So you sign up for SQLCon and you also get to attend FabCon. So I can't tell you how much I'm excited for this. This is going to be a combination of both community sessions and Microsoft sessions. And there's a bunch of them, like our own conference, keynote, core notes, all the details. And yes, Anna, I definitely will be there. 
Awesome. Well, we're glad to hear it. And um, for our viewers, uh, we have this code for you to use to get at $200 off at SQL Community 200 um, that you see there. Uh, a lot of things landed this week and in the past weeks. And, you know, I think what we have to see and say is that like SQL has momentum. Microsoft SQL is going and we're rejuvenating energy and we're excited. And, uh, you know, so I guess as we close out, I'll just remind folks, uh, you know, check out the blog, aka.ms slash one SQL, that link on your screen, we'll put it in the description. Uh, go check out all the announcements, all the Ignite sessions, most of them are recorded and you can access them online for free. Um, get started, get ready for the SQL AI cert that's coming and register for SQL Con Atlanta. Bob, thanks so much for having us on the show. Uh, to our viewers, if you like this episode, go ahead, give it a like, leave us a comment, let us know what your most exciting announcement is. And we hope to see you next time on Data Exposed.